Hey, it's Mike here, and today we're gonna do some artsy pancakes. Maybe you've seen some of those pictures of that pancake art, or maybe a viral video online. Well, I'm gonna try doing that, and we're gonna see how it turns out. It's gonna be a bit of a bootleg version instead of those fancy little squeeze bottles. I'm gonna just try cutting a slit in a Ziploc bag, something everybody can do at home. And I'm gonna go more natural on the ingredients. We're gonna use some whole wheat flour, and we're also gonna try and do a different color with maybe some blueberries or something. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see how much I fail. So here it is, healthy, oil-free, vegan pancakes for one. What if, you, what if you eat as much as three people? All right, the recipe calls for spelt. I have some organic sprouted spelt here. It says that it's whole wheat on the back, but not on the front, which I didn't realize. It's very reasonably priced on Thrive Market. And I'll leave my link for 25% off your first order and a 30-day free trial to Thrive below. The recipe also calls for a third a cup of plant milk. And I'm gonna maybe double that recipe. And then I'm gonna do one half with blueberries blended into the plant milk. And so we get two colors here and maybe make some artsy things happen. All right, so I just threw 10 or so blueberries in with the almond milk in the high-speed blender, and this is the result. It's pretty good, but there's also a situation where there's some chunkies there. Hopefully they don't clog up the little hole in the plastic that I'm gonna cut. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna mix one of these batches, and then, you know, you'll get an idea for the next one. Okay, so the recipe is that you basically get your dry ingredients in one bowl, and then your wet ingredients plus chia in another bowl. So here is a third a cup of flour. And then baking powder, it says to do a teaspoon, but sadly I don't have my teaspoon thing at hand. I can't find it, so I'm gonna do what I call an intuitive teaspoon. About that right there. Looks great, That's everything's gonna turn out really good. It also says a tiny pinch of salt, so that's it for the dry ingredients. It also says a third a cup of that plant milk, and so I'm gonna see if this, this works, we'll see. Boom. So in realizing that the teaspoon aspect is pivotal for the chia seeds and the vanilla extract and the apple cider vinegar, I searched forever. Finally, I found the half teaspoon, so we're good to go. Half teaspoon vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So it says three quarter teaspoon of chia and use white chia to get a better look. In this one, it's not gonna matter. I might just leave the chia out of the white one for contrast. All right, now it says mix everything well it together, moment of truth. Something tells me this isn't enough moisture. All right, now I'm gonna put it in the Ziploc bag so that I can cut a snip and then draw with it. This is gonna be a really sketchy, we will see. Definitely could have mixed it more. Although somebody told me the chunkies are what give it a good pancake texture. Right, we got a bag of blueberry batter and definitely I would suggest cutting the hole after you do this. Okay, so I'm having all the batter go down to one corner and then I'm gonna cut the smallest possible snip. Okay, right there, snippy, snippy. Got it, got that right there. All right, as promised, I finished the second batch, which is just a very normal batch of pancake batter. And putting them together, we got a good color difference. They don't look appetizing yet. And I asked you guys on Instagram what I should draw, and I got a bunch of good requests. Some were overestimating my ability. Like someone said, draw BB-8 from Star Wars. And I was like, that's a little too much. But someone said, draw the vegan symbol, I'm pretty sure. And so that seems like a, a good first try pancake. I just have to draw a V in a circle. All right, first things first, I'm gonna try a little test blotch right in the corner here. Oh, look at that, decent control, decent. I mean, now it's kind of got a wriggly thing going on. Ooh, that's gonna be really hard. Oh, V, circle. Oh, it's so way too wriggly. Oh, it's not gonna do bad. There you go, it's about pressure. All right, I've just started heating it up now because this is not gonna take as long as I thought. Now I'm just gonna fill in. Things are starting to happen. We'll see if I can flip it properly. Oh my gosh, that actually looks not too bad. I mean, it's got that wriggly thing going on, but for a first try ever, it's not the worst, not the worst. All right, for my next trick, can anybody tell uh, what color this is? It, it didn't come out that well, but it was supposed to be orange, which is just high-speed blended carrots as well as the almond milk. If you watch my channel, you know that my beard color versus my hair color is a huge point of contention and often hate comments. And so somebody said, you should do your beard. And so I thought, I'm gonna try doing a self-portrait. So I'm gonna try drawing me and it's, it's gonna be great. Okay, I'm starting by actually heating it up pretty hot because I'm gonna try using my normal color to do the hair first, let it burn brown slightly, 
and then that way when I do my skin color later, it will be a lighter shade, we'll see. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my gosh. This is, this is, oh, just please work. Okay, curly hair. Oh no, it's not like as, oh, it's not as obvious. It's not as like well-defined anymore. It got like more moist. What? That's my hair. <laughs> That's my hair. Maybe I can get like a little bit of curling going on. <laughs> Spitting image. All right, it looks more like goth or like emo punk hair, but you know, I'll take it. Okay, now I'm gonna try my mustache. Doesn't even look like significantly different. We'll see. Oh no, it got like clogged. Oh, I tried to cut a really small hole. Oh, oh no. Can be forgiven, look at that. Oh, come on, man. Oh gosh, don't do this. So carrot chunks just keep getting stuck. I'm just gonna try it one last time. Come on, no. Now for the rest of my face. Should be pretty easy. Hopefully that isn't just charred black by now. All right, it's looking like it's ready to flip right now. Oh, spitting image. I would say there's a level of accuracy there. I mean, we got the beard. The hair didn't really brown as much as I wanted it to, but it got a little bit of brown. You know, for abstract art, it's okay. <laughs> it's not that bad. All right, for my third and possibly final challenge, I think I'm gonna try doing a little piggy as per somebody's suggestion. I painted a piggy rock in the past, as you can see here, and I don't think it's gonna end up looking like that, but this one I'll try and do the cartoon outlines. I think I'm gonna go with the original blueberry combination because it has a nice contrast, even though it's the wrong color. This is probably not gonna work out the best, but I'm going for it. Oh, I just burned my finger. I get to do this as an outline. It's coming together. If I try to leave holes for the little shiny parts. That is pretty ridiculous. It looks kind of wriggly and weird, but I'm gonna pour the other stuff over it because it's already drying just from the residual heat. The moment you realize you don't have enough batter left, possibly. Oh no, I gotta just go. Just gotta go for it. Oh no. All right, I think we're ready to go. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. He looks like he has no soul. Oh my gosh, definitely raised in factory farm conditions. I need to remove this tumor. Definitely a result of factory farm condition. Oh wow, that's not even cooked yet. There you go. Okay, because I have the colors left over and I need to make more pancakes, I'm gonna try doing the BB-8 right there. All right, so here's my BB-8 inspiration. Here's my grade A BB-8 juice that I just strained to get the carrots out. Okay, I think I'm gonna start him out with the outline and this, the eyeballs in this blue, because it's really just a darker color, it's not that blue. Ooh, that's the line. I just finally got my first good line. Look at that, I doubled it up though. <laughs> Obese BB-8. All right, I totally forgot to film what I was just doing. I'm kind of just getting more lines in to connect everything later. I just spilled the rest of my normal batter. All right, screw the bag. All right, this guy's definitely ready to flip. Don't break little antenna. Wow, I have to say, impressive. Not per 
perfect by any means, but considering where I started, not bad. Oh, the eyes are backwards though, obviously. There's definitely a learning curve to this, and all in all, I mean, if I was a little kid, I would be stoked to eat these pancakes, although I feel kind of bad eating the pig, especially because he's factory farmed. Look into my soulless eyes, my soulless eyes. All right, well, that was a bit of a chaotic but fun experience. I hope you had as much fun as I did doing this. I will say, if you are trying this at home, definitely get the little squirt bottle things as opposed to the bag. The bag is kind of like, you're holding a little gerbil in your hand that's just puking and you know, like you don't know when that little gerbil is gonna puke. So it's just kind of like a uneven bleh, you know, especially with the carrots. Definitely strain the carrots out if you do that. But it is a great option to do this project with healthy ingredients. You know, it was carrots and blueberries. You can still get those nice pigments. And I will be auctioning BB-8 off for a million dollars. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat these. Let me give, let me give my deformed mini me, you complete me. Let me give, let me give it a bite. Honestly, I went so thin, it kind of has a crepe kind of thing going on, which would be good. So you could put some kind of like whipped kind of creamy stuff on there. That'd be really good. All right, well, that's it for today. Feel free to like and subscribe as usual. And also my Thrive link will be below for people that are interested and live in the US. All right, see you next time.